What's up everyone, Art here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to build an entire course within Editor X. So whether you're teaching people how to cook or build glitter bombs, we've got you covered. We'll teach you how to build the elements of the course, upload the content, and even publish it to a live website, allowing your members to register, enroll, and move through the course sequentially. This is super cool. It'll only take a few minutes to do, so let's dive in and show you how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. We've landed on the Editor X Create a Website page. So when you get here, you have a choice. You can either use one of their conveniently pre-built templates or you can start from blank. I'm gonna start from blank today just to show you that we can do this from absolutely nothing, but just know that their templates are there. They're really nice. You can edit them, deconstruct them, and use them for your project. Um, for sure, but we'll go ahead and start from blank. It just takes a minute to spin up here. Once this spins up, I'll show you the things that you need to build a course for whatever you're trying to teach people. So when you create a blank page, you just have these three basic elements, the header, the main body section, and the footer. If we click on this item here in the sub menu, when you look at our pages, we only have a homepage. So basically just a one page site with no content. So I'll show you how quickly we can add courses, which also includes member functionality here so that we can have members who sign up, register for our courses and even pay us for these courses. So let's go ahead and show you how this all works. If we go back, so we're in the editor right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click um, to our site here and I'm gonna go rather than being in the editor where we actually edit the site, I'm gonna be, in the what i would call just sort of like the dashboard which is not the site editor but it's where we can edit everything related to the site including any context that we have in the site um, any marketing and seo finances there's all kinds of things that we're not going to get into this in this video but one of the things that are here are these apps and there's this whole entire app market uh that 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 exists that has all kinds of apps from analytics to e-commerce to automation and chatbots and like everything in between. But what we want today is something called online programs. So this is actually built by Wix, which is the parent company to Editor X, uh, which is which is great because uh, typically uh, the apps that are built by Editor X or Wix are uh, very reliable. Uh, not that the ones that are built by third parties aren't, but I always prefer apps that are built by the company who's running the platform. So what we're gonna do, first step is add this to our site. It is free to install and it'll allow us to set up and run courses very easily. So we'll go ahead and click add the site. And the next step is to go to the editor, which is where we just were. But basically what it does is it loads a bunch of pages and content into our editor. So we have to go into the editor to add these, but it does it all for us. So there's really not a lot of manual work here when we're setting up our courses for the first time. Uh, the editor, depending on your internet speed, can take a few minutes to spin up because there's a lot of things that are happening, but here we go. So Wix online programs, build and sell multi-step programs. We just have to click this big blue button, which says add to site. It's as easy as that. Okay, so we clicked add to site and check this out. I went ahead and clicked the pages sub menu here and look at all of these pages that were created automatically for us. This is something that's super unique about Editor X is not only does it install the application that, that you need to run a course program in this instance, but it actually builds um, a lot of the pages for you and pre-styles them to eliminate a lot of the busy work that it would typically take um, to set up and, and you know manage these programs. So like this is um, one of the pages where maybe if you were you know, teaching about running, your running programs would be, it's actually put in some default content for us just to see how it looks. If we click into this, what I would like to call like a repeater or this, uh, this data set, um, and we click manage programs, we can actually go into the management of the courses that we have available on our site. Now remember, it's just showing some some dummy content there for lack of a better word, so that we can see what it would look like to our end users. But as soon as we add our own custom programs, that will be replaced with our program. So in this example, let's just say we're gonna be teaching an online course and they have uh, some templates 
uh, available or you can start uh, from fresh or from scratch. Um, let's just go ahead and use a template here to speed this up since this is a tutorial. Don't wanna get like too in the weeds of, of doing this from scratch, but just know that you can, I just lost my page here, but just know that you can do this from scratch. Uh, we're just gonna use one of their uh, templates to, to speed things up. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and let's just do this one. Healthy baking basics, no time limit, six steps. And this is where it gets really cool. So here's the whole program. Um, as you can see, it builds out the content and it has this sort of like a uh, tree-like structure where you have like the parent sections, like the vocab, the basics, the tools, um, and then the technique and then all of these parent steps. So think of it as like two modules. You have the vocab modules and then the vocab module and then the technique module. And then you have these sub lessons that are within that module. You can, uh, from this menu here, you can choose whether this is uh, visible to public, uh, the public, anyone who, who basically lands here on your webpage, the private or some sort of secret course maybe that you wanna sell. Um, there's, there's definitely use cases for that. Um, you can have it as free, you can have it paid to join, you can set up the pricing here, let's say you charge $200 for the course, you could include it in a subscription as you're, I'm not going into the, the weeds here, but as you can see, there are a ton of options. So let's say you sell a membership and you have like a pro level and a basic membership. If you wanted to include this course in a basic membership plan, you could actually just create your basic membership plan that people buy basic, they'll automatically be given access to this course. That's super powerful. Um, that would take a lot of programming and a lot of code to, to do. And there's like a lot of logic happening there. If they stop paying, they'll lose access to the course. You get the idea. So you can create a plan and then like lump courses into the plan um, if you would like. You can also limit the number of participants. You know, let's just say you want to max, cap this out at 25. That's a good sales technique. Only 25 people can join. Be the first 25 or you're going to miss out. You got the idea. You can limit it and it will actually close registration after that limit has been reached. So these are just some of the settings here. If I go, I'm going to discard all this, but if I go back, you can change the basic info. You can put them in categories. You can um, type out a description, add a new cover image, add instructors. So if you have like uh, instructors that you want to 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 that are that might not be you know part of your company, but but want access to the course, you can add an instructor that way. Um, this is the visibility and pricing, which we just took a look at. So scheduling, you can uh, choose whether it's self-paced or. Um, you know, some sort of fixed duration, every course is different. So it really just depends on your use case, but just know that these options are here. If you want it only to be last to, to last seven days to, to sort of force the participants to move to, to the course at a specific pace, this might be applicable for like a college or university course where they have to complete at a specific time. You can certainly build that in here. Um, you can even hide future steps um, until they've completed the you know, the, the steps that are in front of them so they can't look ahead, that kind of thing. Um, so there's there's a lot that you can do. Um, you can even set a time limit, that kind of thing. Just to go in a couple more settings here so you can actually like connect a group. Uh, think of this like as like a Facebook group, but it, it basically allows a common place for people to um, connect and chat and talk and ask questions and interact with each other while they're taking the course. It will automatically put participants right into this group. And you can even give people a badge when they completed all the steps. So if they've completed the course, you want to give them a course badge. They can accumulate these badges. It's sort of like a gamification type of thing, but um, super cool that you can do all this right within the Editor X platform without doing any code. The last two things here are just different notifications. You can send your course participant notifications for everything in the course from the invitation all the way to when they complete the course. You can even build custom automations based on certain rules that you would have set up. Um, there, there's a ton of examples here, but you can build custom automations, which is super, super cool. You don't have to use any third party tools to build all these automations. It's all native within Editor X. Uh, finally, SEO. SEO is always important. Um, it gives you this really, really pretty slug here. So you probably want to change this to like, you know, a baking course so that the, uh, the Google gods can find you. You can connect a custom domain if you'd like. You can put your like title tag, embedded description, what search engines index or not index this page, that kind of thing. But it's all available here. You can even change the 
open graph images for social share and get into some like advanced uh, data markup and site structure stuff, which um, is really too in the weeds for this tutorial, but just know it's all there. So once you set up your course, hopefully that wasn't too much, but I just really wanted to show you everything that you can do. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, kind of a draft right now. So um, of course, like when you go into these lessons, you can edit them. Um, there's some content in here. Again, this is all just like dummy content that editor has provided to us. Um, but you can upload a video if your courses are video, you can embed your uh, YouTube URL, um, you can add images, you can add files, you can add a quiz, you can add a questionnaire, you can add custom questions. There's so much you can do, it's actually insane. Um, all right in here natively, you can import steps from other courses, you can add steps, you can move stuff around if we were in the tools. And guess what, we wanted this to be part of the technique now, you could just quickly save that and now it moves it into the technique instead of in the vocab. So we'll put that back just to show you how quickly it is. We'll put the tools back to vocab and there it is, it's already there. So really easy to manage. Um, we didn't do a lot of customization here, but you get the idea, you can upload all your videos and once you're ready to go, you just hit publish. After you publish, it'll appear on your site and participants can join, great. So let's go ahead and publish it. And we got a green notification that it is published. So. Now, if we go back to our site pages here, um, and we go to, so it's actually showing up here. So this is our course. It kind of looks a little bit crazy. So if we click settings, we can adjust how this looks. There's all these different like layout settings. Here it is. Um, I just changed it from like this big grid. Now, if you had multiple courses, the grid would shrink because there'd be multiple of them and get smaller and smaller. So it would look better, but we can choose side by side since we only have one course. Here's our course here you can change the layout a little bit if you would like you can play around with it whatever works best for you you can even add custom styling i'm not going to get into that in this tutorial but here is the course and it exists and um, we can publish our site and it'll be live someone could join it it's a free course um, once they join they'll actually create an account with us so we'll capture their email and then they'll be brought to a course page where they'll walk through the steps of the course now um, you can also um customize the um the actual like course page so this is like the list page where all the courses would be listed but you can also customize like this is the detail page where you can learn more about the program so you can customize this page um, you get you know a little bit more of a description you get the pricing if there was a, a, a fee here you would you would see the fee um, but you can customize all of this here again by just clicking into this section clicking settings and then you can adjust all the layout settings um, the display settings the text size what's shown here maybe you don't want to show um, maybe you don't want to show an image there you go your image just went away so really customizable um, there's a ton of features i'm not going to get into but you can change the opacity the colors the weight the images the sections that are showing i mean soup to nuts you can control everything um, once it's done and you hit publish, if someone goes to the course and they click join, they'll be forced to create an account because there's no way to track a participant's progress unless they create an account. And then they will be able to take the course, complete the sections, do the quizzes, whatever it takes. And if you awarded them a badge, they'll get that badge at the end. And just like that, you've built a course that is on your website live and participants can join and pay for in just about under 15 minutes. Um, so it's really powerful. Um, if you already have the content or you're, you know, a, uh, a person, you know, who can teach uh, guitar to someone and you already have the lessons recorded, you just simply have to upload them and put a price on it, slap it, slap it in this, in this course builder, and then you can share the link and people can register and pay, uh, just as an example. Um, and, and that's, and that's it, um, from the, uh, program list page, just to show you one other little thing. If you click these three, uh, dots or ellipsis here, you can go into the settings. You can look at the different permissions, whether it's for everyone members only. So again, if you had a membership site and you only wanted this course to be available to people who were members, you could control that here. You have some of your SEO basics. So, you know, here's the URL where this, where this lives, but you could be like baking lessons so you can change everything here it's really powerful really customizable um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of a preview of everything that you can do with courses 
and you can you can you know do so much more with email marketing and, and managing your participants to keep them engaged we'll keep that for another lesson hope this was helpful uh see you on the other side thanks